everyone, JH Champagne here with another writing tip video. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that I'm struggling with myself, something that I've been dealing with all day today, and that is a moment when you have something stuck in your head. A song, a jingle from a television commercial, a phrase somebody said to you, something you heard on the radio, something you you experienced over the course of your day that gets stuck in your head and no matter what you do you cannot shake it and it you carry it with you all day long so I have my computer here with me I want to share with you guys what has been in my head all day long All day in my head like a hula hula hoop hula hula hoop I cannot get rid of it and it's making me a little nuts the song is gonna drive me crazy I must have heard it on the radio this morning when I was going to go meet a friend of mine for coffee and I cannot shake it so if you are in the Baltimore area and hear an explosion it's my head we're fine it's the song is just made my brain explode so what this whole experience has made me think of though are the times when both myself and other writers, when all of us get something that's in our head and we cannot shake it, a thought, a phrase, a line, and it turns out to be a really beautiful moment. And I really do think that those things get stuck in our head for a reason. Now, is like a hula hula hoop going to end up in one of my novels? I'm pretty sure I can guarantee not. Maybe you never say never, but I highly doubt it. But what, what this whole thing has made me think of, though, is a moment when I was writing Phoenix Morrow. So in, in the story of Phoenix Morrow, Phoenix is, uh, Phoenix is the main character. The entire story is told in the first person. So it's told through Phoenix's eyes. So she's ill. She's homesick and needs to go to work and kind of crawls herself out of bed and walks into the hotel where she's working. And immediately, two characters that she works with, Margaret and Carly, see her puffy eyed dragging hands full of tissues and are like no 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 stop you're gonna get us all sick go home and she's like I'm fine I don't want to be a wimp she's arguing with them and Carly her roommate and friend who lives behind who lives with her and works behind the counter says to her you look like death microwaved and Phoenix says you know what the hell is that supposed to mean and Carly's response is you know warmed up but unevenly. Now that whole idea, that whole phrase of when you're ill you look like death microwaved because it's warmed up but unevenly was something that rolled around in my head one day and I kind of carried it with me for almost a week. I really wasn't sure what to do with that phrase but I jotted it down. There was something about it that stuck with me and I kind of tucked it away. And then sure enough, as I'm working on Phoenix Morrow, I had this this moment, this scene where she's sick. And then there's later stuff that happens after this experience in the hotel where she does go home and another character comes to check on her and what happens there. And that was really the larger reason for this whole scene with Phoenix being sick. But that great line of you look like death microwaved was able to be inserted into it. And I will tell you, I've had more people tell me that that is one of their favorite moments of dialogue in the entire book. Um, that it's just, it made them laugh. They chuckled, you know, had a ring of truth to it. And I never would have been able to give my readers that had I not written it down when I had this idea that was rolling around in my head that even though I wasn't sure what to do with it at the time, it turned out to be really wonderful later. I think, in my opinion, one of the best parts of it, I mean, yes, it's funny and it's snarky and frankly, it's something that I would say, but it helps create the character of Carly. She's one of my favorite characters in the, not only in the book, but she's really one of the favorite characters I have ever written. I'm a huge fan of Carly. And that kind of snarky, sarcastic, a little wry response from her helps really flush out who Carly is, helps build 
the character of Carly for my readers. And none of that would have happened had I not written that little snarky line down. So I just want to encourage you today, even when you have stuff in your head rolling around like a hula hula hoop, hula hula hoop, write it down. It will be wonderful later. And it could end up being that it's something you never use. That's okay. But you don't know that until you write it down and tuck it away and then possibly have the moment to pull it out later because it could turn out to be something absolutely fantastic. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today, and I hope you all have an excellent week, and we'll check in soon. Don't forget to find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All of it is at J8Champagne, and I will hear from you soon.